Hi, I'm Andrea Gertz, Senior Vice President of Strategic Initiatives at TELUS. I am also a mother, so the issue of internet and smartphone safety and security is very important to me. At TELUS, we recently launched TELUS Wise, a program to engage our customers and their families in a conversation about this important issue. As an organization, our commitment to TELUS Wise runs deep. It is another way we are making the future friendly for Canadians and putting our customers first. The program you are about to watch is the first in a series of TELUSWISE videos. Today, we are going to explore the topic of cyberbullying with Bill Belsey, a recognized expert in the field and founder of bullying.org. Bill will be addressing questions from Caroline, who is also a mother, as well as from three young students, Angela, Lachlan, and Shanae. Bill, there are so many definitions of cyberbullying. Can you help us understand it? Sure. People, when they talk about cyberbullying, unfortunately, they often end up talking about technology as the first issue. Cyberbullying is not about the cell phone or about the social network. Cyberbullying is, is like traditional forms of bullying, you know, physical, verbal, psychological, and social. It's a relationship issue, and it's also about power and control. But there are a number of things that make cyberbullying quite different, and that's why I gave it its own definition years ago, and that is the repeated and intentional use of technologies, uh, information technologies, that support uh, deliberate and, uh, and uh, harmful uses. To, and the intention here is to harm others. And um, so there are lots of ways that cyberbullying is like traditional forms of bullying in that it's about power and control and relationships primarily. But there are a lot of other aspects of it that are quite different. And that's difficult for us as parents to get our heads around because we didn't grow up with this. Bill, what are the signs that a child is being cyberbullied? Is there something that a parent or caregiver should be looking out for? As a parent, you might see a child be very anxious, become more withdrawn. Um, maybe their grids, grades might start slipping. Maybe they don't, they're not as so, so socially outgoing as they once were. As a little bit of an aside, one of the things I highly recommend parents do is fight for that time each day to have that meal together at the dinner table with no technology present, where you look at each other in the eye and you listen, not just to the words, but you're listening, f uh, if you will, between the lines. So as parents, we would see those behaviors where our kids become more socially withdrawn. What should a parent do if their child is being cyberbullied? If you find out that your child is being bullied in any form, uh, what we first need to do is we need to calm ourselves as adults because bullying in any form is a very emotional issue. Next thing we need to do is we need to listen to our kids. We need to have them know that we're there for them, we support them, we'll help them through this, whatever it takes, and that they're not alone in dealing with this. It's really, really important. It's about establishing a relationship of trust with your child, don't give them, you know, what I call the, you know, the old person speech about, well, it wasn't like this back in my day, and threaten to take away their cell phone or take away their access to the internet. That won't solve anything. Our kids, unfortunately, they're going to experience all kinds of things throughout their lives, including things online. And when they do, we need to listen to them without judgment and have them know that we're there for them, uh, for them and to support them. So, Mr. Belsey, what are some basic rules you can share with kids on cyberbullying? Well, I think, Lachlan, one thing every person, adults and kids need to know is that what we say online we can't take back. So that means we need to think before we click and know that what we say and do online has real life implications for ourselves and for other people. The way I like to describe it is it's like making like a digital footprint. Every time you make a blog post, you upload a photo to Facebook, you share a text with a friend, understand that there's no such thing as a completely private message on the internet. Every time you're interacting, you want to put your best foot forward. For me, I'd like to ver make the very best, the most positive footprints that I can. So Mr. Belsey, if I know someone that's being cyberbullied, should I ignore it or become friends with that person? Well, if you know somebody else who's being cyberbullied, what you want to do is first of all listen to them and know that you're there for them. It's really, really important. Most bullying of any kind 
it happens when kids are together. Nearly 90% of the time, bullying happens when kids are together and adults aren't around. So what you want to do is not be what I call a cyber bystander. You want to be an upstander. When kids stand up for others and befriend them, most bullying stops in less than 10 seconds. And I think by you being a friend and by listening, you don't have to fight the bully. That usually makes it worse. But what you want to do is support your friend and know that you're there for them. And often, that's what it takes to begin to help deal with it in a really positive way. And you have the power to do that. So Mr. Bell C, what are some of the biggest mistakes kids make online that can make them vulnerable to cyberbullying? Oh boy, there's lots. First of all, you really need to be careful about what information you share online. Um, things like your personal information, nobody has any business knowing that other than you, maybe your family, you know, people that you're really close to. Unfortunately, there's lots of times when people put all kinds of personal information, where they live, where they go to school, their volleyball schedule, all that kind of stuff. They put it out there for the whole world to see. And I think you need to know that when you put stuff online, you don't really know who's going to see it. So I think that's a really important thing. I think sometimes too, you know, when we're online, because we don't see the face of the person we're interacting with, sometimes we end up saying and doing things online that we wouldn't do normally. Technology is awesome. It's an amazing tool, but we have to respect it. I think as long as we respect it, we're going to be in great shape. Bill, can you recommend any resources for parents and caregivers and even kids to access to find out more about cyberbullying? The real answers around issues like cyberbullying and sexting and all these sorts of unfortunate things that can really hurt kids online, the answers don't lie within technology. Uh, we as parents need to understand that most cyberbullying happens away from school. It happens on home computers and on cell phones. These are the most powerful communicative tools in the history of mankind. And I think we need to impart that respect to our kids. And we as parents need to become much more aware of and engage in our kids' online activities. We need to have discussions with them. Like I said, at the dinner table, no technology at the table. Talk with them. And, and not just the words, but read between the lines, if you will, hear what they have to say. And I think that it's about relationships. And I think that establishing that relationship of trust with our kids is, I think, the absolute single most important thing we can do as a family. Bill, thank you so much for sharing your insights today with us. I know I've learned a lot. I hope the kids have too. Guys? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, we have. That's great, guys. That's awesome. Bring it in here. As you've heard, cyberbullying is an increasingly important issue and one that can impact us all. Our hope is that you use the information provided in this video to start or continue a dialogue with your family and friends about cyberbullying, what it is, and what to do about it. We look forward to presenting other topics related to internet and smartphone safety and security in future episodes. On behalf of TELUS, thank you for watching.